I was thinking, I'm not sure if I want to stay. You know, for example, if I buy it, I have to consider how long I want to stay. I really do want to stay or not. You see what I mean? And when you want to sell it, it takes a long time. Maybe, maybe not. It depends, you know, and then you're stuck. And oh, I, I don't really like houses at all. I don't. If I don't have you, disciple, I just stay in hotel. Just a room in a hotel, good enough. And they clean your room, they change. And I change sheets, change everything every day. I don't have to do anything. It's not that expensive. Of course it is. Consider that if you, you put that, like in 10 years, you can buy a house. Better, of course. But it's not the house that I want, you know, convenience. But because I have you, I have dogs, I have, you know, just some touch. It's all connected with each other. You and my dogs. Oh. <laughs> my pets cost me so much. <laughs> you, number one, and they, number two. Yeah. I don't mean just money, huh? time and detached <laughs> meant. Oh, the houses in England are really expensive, huh? For that price, you can buy oh, a nice house in elsewhere. Maybe even Bulgaria or Croatia. Oh, they are very cheap. Yeah. Yeah. At the same time, you make a lot of money when you buy here. Buy here and make a lot of money? Yeah, you make money when you buy properties here, and then you don't make the same when you buy in other countries. How do you know? We don't sell it tomorrow, we sell it next 10 years. <laughs> oh, no, no, yeah, no, I'm not talking about, I'm talking generally about the market. Yeah. Uh, what for we buy this and we want, we don't want to make money? <laughs> Nobody really cares to make money. Yeah, can, but you know what I mean is if we want to have a good land and anything, huh? Yeah, it's so cheap over there. Even in Spain, it's much cheaper than here. Yeah, in France as well. France as well, yeah, it's true. It's true. Hmm. How come I'm just a few minutes away? <laughs> I mean, a few thousand minutes away. <laughs> it's so big difference. Why is that? Because island, England is small or what? Now why do we go to a small place to stay? I don't know. Why? <laughs> Tell me why. Yeah, but why not Belgium or why not uh, France? Do we have a lot of disciples? Sterling, you know, Who cares about that? Really? Because of the pound? I think it's maybe because the people are very well educated here, and so yeah. people make a lot of money, <laughs> and people are attracted to those places because they also want to make a lot of money, and then there's a lot of demand for places to live, and that is pushing up the, the price. I don't know, in France you can also make money. Spain's got nicer weather. <laughs> yeah, nicer weather, yeah. Just we don't have many uh, brother and sister, yes? I think it's, it's the language. Because language? language. Uh -huh. yeah. It's easier, right? Yeah. Mm, easy to learn, huh? Yeah. Yeah. If you go to France, <laughs> <laughs> Mon Dieu! <laughs> <laughs> De la maison! <laughs> Camembert! <laughs> Camembert! <you know. laughs> yeah, yeah. Even though I know French, but I have to confess to you that when I was in France, it was very tiring to speak French. <laughs> For me, you know, the pronunciation is very difficult. It's formidable. <laughs> yes, it's, you know, like when I make a poem in English, it's so smooth and easy, you know, no tongue twisting a lot. And when I translate it into France, oh, mon Dieu. <laughs> C'est <laughs> dur. It was so difficult. And when you read it up, it was not... It's nice after you have to change a lot and make it into nice French, but still, when you read it, it's more difficult than reading English, even if you know both languages. Yeah. So it's the English, it's the language, is it? Yeah. Isn't it? Is it true? No, yes. Because yeah. of the exposure of the <coughs> years ago. Yeah, it's true. Yes. Uh-huh. 
It's true also because the British have uh, expanded, yeah, expanded their territory all over the world. And it's not only that, but because they have left a very good impression after they left. So they probably have treated people nicer than other colonizing empires. So so the people still trust the English and come back to live in there. Is that what it is, maybe? Yeah. And also there's more job opportunities. More job opportunities, yeah? yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. yes, in London, especially in London. Yeah? What kind of job we have there? Um, compared to other countries like France, because a lot of like, Spanish and Italian and French come to London especially mm-hmm. and looking for a job because they say it's, it's more difficult to get a job in the country. Are they sure about that? Yeah? yeah, one agent told me that there was more jobs than people available. In London? Yeah. Oh, really? What well, good news? <laughs> Are you kidding? Is, but I still see uh, unemployment. How much? How much percent? No, it's jobs that mainly in the service industry. Oh. Like what? Retail. Waitressing, uh-huh. restaurants, and retail. And then who cares? Yeah, as long as you have a job. Yeah. I think the government's quite clever. Like the, uh, a while ago, the um, doctors were being paid a lot of money, and then they made it so that um, uh, doctors from other countries could easily get a visa to come and work here. Mm-hmm. So then there was an oversupply of doctors. So then the government had to pay less mm-hmm. for the doctors, and I think they. The, the government watches what skills they need and they make it easy for people to come and live here. Well, same in America or Australia, huh? Yeah, maybe that's why. Also, the language is easier to learn, huh? Than uh, maybe Spanish or French, right? Uh, yeah. So get more benefits. Like more benefits? From NHS as well. Yeah, from the security office? From the National Health Service. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have this as well. Even if you don't work, you still can get taken care of, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's also I have to say. How about in France? They don't have that? Yes. Then, then why? Yeah, then why? It's the same here? It's a language? <laughs> well, I have to say also, English is easier. Yes. yes. And maybe, I don't know, what, more casual or something? More kind or not? No, same. <laughs> the English is more casual, right? Yeah. More tolerant. Yeah. Tolerant. Oh. Yeah. Go what? Accommodating. More accommodating. Mm. And I think it's a good place to learn. There's a lot of, for me, my experience is really good learning. Learning what? Like college. Uh, anything? Comparison to my country. Oh, okay. <clears throat> what is your country? Brazil. Oh, Brazil. Yeah. Okay, of course it's different. It's far away. <laughs> it's South America. And there's lots of Brazilians coming out. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's easy? To come here. Uh-huh. No, very difficult. But they're all coming because the situation there is really horrible. But how do they come here if it's difficult? Just come and stay? No, well, they come to try and find work. I understand. And they do like work in uh-huh. cinemas, uh-huh. And cleaning. Mm-hmm. But they're dreading to go back to Brazil because it's a really bad situation. Um, how about you? Are you okay? Visa? No. Now you're okay? No, just about. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oof. Now you're okay, huh? Make sure, huh? <laughs> Uh, because to stay somewhere illegally is very bad. Not not that I encourage the border of every nation. Uh, the world should not have any border anyway. But uh, maybe the situation right now is maybe still necessary. Maybe not. I don't know. People are so worried, like, if no borders, then everybody can go to England or everybody goes where and does what, you know? But I'm not sure about that because... Um, I heard that, for example, before, before like uh, many countries joined together to become European Union, and then they they say to each other that everyone could travel freely from one country to the next, and then later they worry that some poor countries would overwhelm France or whatever, or Germany. I don't I don't remember what country. So they just stop it. But Ireland did not stop. It just keeps the promise so so that people can travel if they want to go to Ireland 
But not too many people go to Ireland either, you know. Lots of people, Master. A lot, but I mean, it's not like, <laughs> not like overwhelming, you know. 150,000 Polish people in the last year. Polish people. Three yeah, percent of the population. Yeah. 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 Um, Three percent of the whole population. Yeah, already in a year. Ah, well, you need you need more people. One hundred thousand Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> Every country in the world. But that's not that much. Even then, not everybody, not like the whole Romania or whatever country, will all go to Ireland. Many other countries, they had this opportunity, but it's only 150,000 people came. Maybe they will come more, but maybe not. Maybe that's all there is. Not, not like all of the other countries all go to Ireland. And for example, like uh, Hungary, nah? it's not a rich country. But I've seen not many people want to go to other countries to work. No, I don't see that. I don't see many Hungarians around. <laughs> Even in our group, there's only one, and he came from Mongolia. <laughs> Originally, he just stayed in Hungary for a while. So it depends, you know. It's not because it's poor people will all go there. It's not that. Because, uh, uh, for example, 150,000 is not just from one country. It's from different countries, so there's not much from each country. From the whole Europe, there's not much. Yeah. And the Chinese, of course, you cannot say anything about the Chinese. <laughs> Chinese, what can we say? Huh? <laughs> they go anywhere. <laughs> but uh, I'm not sure it's because you open the gate and everybody will come. It depends, you know, if they have affinity with that country or they like it or not. Yeah? So only, only Irish open, eh? Ireland, UK and Sweden. Okay. So a lot of people come to the UK and Sweden now? Yeah. In Sweden. Yeah? Well, it's good. Like that, we have a mixture, mix of culture, and people become more tolerant and more understanding of each other. Look how tolerant England is, you know, because they have learned from so many different sources. They have been expanding their kingdom before, and for that they also learn a lot. See? Learn a lot from different cultures, and that's why they respect and tolerate because they know there are good things everywhere, and you can learn things from every country. They don't feel superior to any race of people on the planet because they have learned, they have been there, and they have known things from different countries that are respectable, that are very awesome, and that's a very uh, worth of learning and worth of their experiences, yeah? So they don't just go there, to colonize it, but meanwhile they also learn something. That's why they grow. The English people, they grow, they have become more tolerant, and they also learn a lot of things, so they mix well with other races of people, and that's why they're beloved everywhere. Yeah, the English uh, passport is respected more, more than many other countries in the world. But you have British passport, it's easier to go many places. Because of that, uh, English people, they're open, yeah. Because for many centuries of <laughs> going abroad and back and <laughs> back and forth and learning from different cultures, that's good like that. Okay, anything else? No? Winter, the time so short, eh? I, out of the window, three o'clock, so dark already. <laughs> How about Belgium, is the same? Yeah. Belgium the same? Or was it that? Same? Yeah. Why? <laughs> or Europe like that? No, except France, Spain. <laughs> Until when? Until six? One hour difference, so it's a bit long. <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with the summers that. Summers are very long. Yeah, summer here is long, long everywhere. <laughs> summer is daylight. Like until ten, until ten. Ten. Yeah, everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere. Summer is like that, even in America, except Alaska, eh? Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Summer in Alaska is long also, and winter six hours daylight. Here we have eight hours daylight, so big deal, two hours difference. <laughs> Not much, is it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 